Uh, I'm Don Reed. I own uh, Oyster Creek Outfitters. We specialize in backcountry fishing, especially fly fishing. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate today how you would uh, tie a fly that uh, would work in salt water. So I'm going to uh, just dive right in and uh, tie a fly. This is a, a fly that we found particularly effective around here. It's a, a destroyer pattern. So first things first, use this thing called a vise, attach a hook to it, um, and then uh, we're going to co cover it with um, some uh, thread. I'm using a fur here. It's, um, it's called Finnish Raccoon. And we specialize in it and we sell it all over the country and all, actually all over the world. A fur that works particularly well for saltwater fly tying. We have it in a full array of colors. We have it uh, dyed for us. It's a real simple fly, and I, I like simple flies because they work really well. They do the job, and they don't take a lot of time, and they don't cost a lot, therefore. A couple of wraps of that. Tie that off. All right, I'm going to come up and place the eyes onto this. Predators seem to be attracted to eyes, so we tend to put them on most of our flies. Trim off that. Make sure there's no tag there to cut. Build up a a neat little head like this and then finish it off with a whip finish is what it's called. Pretty Good. much that's the fly. This will catch redfish, trout, uh, tarpon, uh, pretty much any of the fish that we have in our locale. We try to provide a public service here uh, fly fishermen are, are a very dedicated bunch. Uh, they're, uh, this is, there's much more of a, an emotional attachment to this kind of fishing than just sort of bait fishing. Um, so that we're, we, people that are involved in fly fishing become very um, enthusiastic in, uh, in the sport and some of us consider it a religion. So. You know, for me, it's, it's the way that I communicate with the rest of the world.